stop what you're doing, breaking news in the AI world. Key search now has AI. I know that's not like the biggest news compared to most of the other AI stuff happening, but I think it's pretty freaking cool. <laughs> so here I am in key search in the back end. I am in the content assistant area. And so this is a place I love anyway. <laughs> I think it's really cool. Um, it basically compares to Rank IQ, to Surfer SEO, to Phrase, all of those different ones, where when you put in your keyword, so I've put in things to do in Rome, it brings up must words for you, which are basically LSI words. So the easiest way to explain this is they are terms that most people on the first page are referencing. So you should probably reference it too, because if you're talking about Rome and you don't mention the Trevi Fountain, people are going to be like, mm, <laughs> maybe this article isn't that relevant or doesn't know what it's talking about. And Google will think the same thing. So there's so many great things in here, but now you'll notice this new little AI at the end. And I think this is really lovely because it really lets people try out AI in a way that they've never done it before. So you get a certain number of credits per day. Um, I believe it's 1200. I think I've used a couple already, um, but I've been playing around with this on my other account as well. Um, so basically what we do here is we can use AI to generate parts of our blog post. And so this area over here, which you may or may not know, a lot of people don't seem to know, is actually like a place you can write content. So you could like write your whole blog post here and it would like pick up on the LSI keywords and um, the suggested keywords as well. But now what it can do is you can actually generate AI content into this area, which is epic. And I will say it's not the best, um, but it's not that bad either. <laughs> like it definitely needs a bit of editing and it isn't SEO optimized on its own. With every AI, you have to do the research, you have to edit, you have to adjust, um, but it does an interesting job. So here we have create an article outline. I'm gonna run you through each of them because it's the end of the day so I can waste my credits. <laughs> um, so we're gonna create an article outline and what I don't enjoy is that I have to like create a content brief for every single one and it doesn't pick up on the other information around. But let's just say, um, write a blog post. Sorry, it's turning purple because I have the Jasper plugin. Um, and so this, that's not something Key Search does. We're just going to like ignore that. <laughs> so I'm just going to add in a bit of information. So write a blog post about things to do in Rome. And then I gave some information on who my audience are. I think it's very, very important to run that way. Then you can set tone of voice. Tone of voice massively changes the piece. I mean, if you think about it, like Gandalf versus, um, I don't know, Adam Sandler are gonna deliver two very different <laughs> versions of the same thing. I typically go with engaging, casual, informative, because um, Jasper told me that's what my tone is. Now here you can select how long you want your output to be. Um, I think for an outline, we can probably do 200 words. We'll see. So then you start writing. It takes a moment. It takes a long moment, to be honest. Um, so it's definitely not as speedy as even ChatGPT or Jasper, but it will run and then it'll give you the information over here in this general area. There we go. So we can see now I'm down to 1800 credits. So you can see it's like one per word. Now the problem is um, you can't return credits like with Jasper. So there's a lot of functionality limitations. It's still really cool though, honestly. But if you look at this, you can pretty quickly tell this is not great for SEO. <laughs> I mean, um, it's not used the keyword anywhere. Um, it's kind of thrown stuff around. The formatting got messed up down here. Um, what I think happened is that uh, I might have clicked over when it was trying to move stuff, which is my own fault. Um, but here we're getting some information and some options of things to include in your outline. Now, another issue is it will stop writing sometimes mid-sentence, and I don't know of a way to get it to keep writing at this point. Um, like I said, I've just started playing around with it, so if y'all figure that out, let me know. But limitations. 
I also honestly always recommend just writing it yourself. I'm gonna actually leave this for our example, but I do think the outline is the most important part to get right, so it's really important that you do it yourself. Now if you go down, you can start creating headings. So these will be your subheadings. Um, what I don't really understand is why they have that versus the outline, because to me those are kind of the same ideas. Um, so I'm just gonna keep our section of what our blog is about. And let's try asking it to include something. I don't actually know if that's how you spell it. I haven't lived in Italy in a long time. <laughs> I was 16, so that was like 12 years ago. And I'm gonna keep the length to short because realistically I like a short header. So we'll start writing, give it a moment. I move my little head. So here we go, we've got, um, they included the Trevi Fountain immediately, so we can see it does have that functionality, which is great. Um, yeah, it's given us more stuff. I actually quite, I like these a lot better than I like the outline bit, because I think the outline was kind of nonsense. <laughs> but these are actually like actionable things you can include. Um, what I would do here to get it to do something more topic centered and more like on what I'm focusing on is I would include all of like the things that I wanted it to pick up on to write a sentence like this. To be honest, for SEO though, you often don't need sentences like that. Um, it can do page titles. I don't much care about page titles. I just write them myself with like a simple formula. So let's give him 100 words and see what he does. But basically the easiest formula for a things to do post is number, best things to do in Rome, and then either like from a local, 2023, whatever. So here we can see he's created them. So he hasn't included um, the actual keyword, which is interesting. It's good to know he doesn't, he can't see this up here. So clearly I needed to tell him this over here in clearer detail because none of these are things to do headlines. And so this is again proof that like, he's not intrinsically SEO perfect. And I say he, this isn't Jasper, it, whatever this is, is not <laughs> intrinsically perfect. Um, even though it's inside of key search. So don't make the mistake of thinking that just because this exists inside of key search, it is therefore going to be SEO optimized. Um, this is something that comes free with your account too. And anything that comes free with an account typically is not the most amazing thing in the world. So let's create an intro paragraph and we'll just pretend that this is the title we've chosen. Uh, I'm just gonna keep things short again because I also have to give them time to generate it. Um, but I should have said as well, you can notice that with the above, like he's formatting the outline in like a list formatting. He's formatting the headings in a numbered list of options for you. Um, and same with the page titles. I need to move my head out of the way. There we go. <laughs> um, so here we go. We've got a, an intro. I'm gonna be honest, I don't really like this. Um, we don't, again, we don't have the keyword and I don't know how to get him to include the keyword at this point. Um, beyond, like I literally said, it's about things to do in Rome and he's not talking about things to do in Rome. So I think we need to figure out ways to get him better at this. And this is something you're gonna have to play around with with any sort of new program that you're using. Um, I just discovered another one today that's in beta that I've been playing around with and like you're gonna make mistakes. But you've got a lot of credits to play with. Um, they do seem to refresh every day, at least while it's in beta. So um, take advantage of it and make mistakes while you're allowed to. So let's try something different here. Let's put some quotes around things to do in Rome. What I would think they should have is like a little bit over here that lets you input um, your keyword into it. Like that would make more sense to me with it being an SEO tool, <laughs> but um, who knows? I mean, it's clearly this is just a side thing for them. It seems a bit like um, Canva's AI where they have an AI writer and they also have AI art. Both are not great, <laughs> to be honest. So, da, 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 Rome and so this is like more on topic of things to do, but it's still not including the keyword. So I would be interested to see, let's try some main content. Um, include the keyword things to do in Rome. And let's see if he starts adding some stuff in. We're gonna let this one be medium, so it's a bit longer. But I also am not a big fan that like you can't leave your cursor wherever, like he's auto-populating at the end every single time, which means you may have to restructure stuff. 
And with Jasper's plug-in, the Chrome extension, I've gotten like very spoiled about the fact that I can literally have him write anywhere for me. Um, and I've been playing around with a new method of having him write right into blog templates for me that makes it really, really easy to have things yeah, progress faster. But maybe I am just spoiled. <laughs> okay, this is taking a while. But this is why we test things to see if they work or if they don't. I don't like to write stuff off if I haven't tried it. And I like to give it time to learn more about it and see what can happen. So we'll give it a moment. But after this one, we're going to go into the one that I actually think is the best, um, the meta descriptions, which I love. And if you don't have Jasper AI, like I think Jasper's is a much better version of this. But if you don't have Jasper AI, this is the best alternative. Um, you can do it in chat GPT, but it's just going to take you longer. And like, cause you only get 40 searches per day in chat GPT on the free plan. It's better to do, or for like questions, I think that you can ask him, it's better to just do it here, um, where you have the credits for it. Oh my God, this is taking a long time. Um, yeah, half this video is just going to be us waiting for this main content to generate. But what that probably tells me is that it's really, really thinking about it. Um, however, the interesting thing is with this like long form content, the lengths don't change. Like it's still 100, 200, 300. And I'm sorry, but no blog post is 300 words if you want it to rank, um, which is the same issue I have with Jasper's like one click blog post area is like they're always like 500 words. Um, and then I'll see people just publish them and I'm like, please, no, don't do it. So. Yeah, oh my god. Okay, I may have to refresh the page because it feels like it might be stuck. Let's see. Oh, it's still thinking. Hmm. Well, anyway, we'll talk about the meta descriptions while we're here. Same idea, you're going to paste in whatever your description is, change things up. So we're going to set the length to short because meta description should be 160 characters maximum. I typically aim for like 140 to 150. Um, Google will change your meta all the time, so don't stress too much. And that's why having this write it is just so easy, where you're gonna get something super quick. It gives you like three options for them, which was interesting. I was kind of confused as to why they do that when they're on a credit system, where it doesn't really say like, it says like, I guess, meta description ideas, but like, I, I don't know. I thought it would just shoot out one because it's just a meta description. But it is interesting that um, they give you longer options when for this one, as an SEO tool, they know the best practice. And then lastly, we have creating lists around the topic entered. So it's going to create a listicle. Again, I'm not really sure how this differs from um, the outline because to some extent, like a listicle and a list, like it, that could be the outline for the post. Let's see if we can get them to like move along. Okay, I'm going to refresh it and come back because I don't know if that's just how long he's taking with it, but it's taking a long time. Um, okay, let's try again. But yeah, anyway, back to my rant. I think that like a listicle would be the same as the outline for a listicle post. So it's interesting that they don't seem to feel that way and that they've broken it out into its own section, um, which might have something to do with the algorithm behind it, um, treating options as different than a list that's cohesive. So yeah, I think it's an interesting function. I don't think the main content thing is gonna work for us. <laughs> it seems to be taking far, far too long. This is the problem with like, tools that are cheaper or that are free um, is that, yeah, they just don't run as well. <laughs> um, and something I should note as well is when you run these, you have to make sure you're saving them before you leave. Otherwise, as you could see, I refreshed it and then all the content that was there vanished, but your um, credits are still going to go down. So you're not going to be able to get them back to my knowledge easily. So um, yeah, be careful <laughs> with that. If you want to like make a new page, you just press a little plus icon. And then in here is your folder of saved ones. And as you can see, I didn't save it, so it's not in there. So just be careful um, to save 
before you refresh if it's something you actually want to keep. I didn't really care about that stuff, but oh my goodness, this is taking eons. I'll be honest anyway, um, I tried it earlier and it was not high quality. Um, I wouldn't use it personally. Um, what I would use this for mostly is the meta descriptions. Um, if you really struggle with intros or conclusions, it's a good option to help you like get over the blank page syndrome and kind of like push past it. Um, I would try the lists. I didn't find great success with them. But for headings, titles, and your outline, I would 100% do those yourself. Mostly because like the titles and the the headings and the outline, they all kind of go together, but also the headings and the outline need to be SEO optimized and it is not capable of that, which like I really hope that they update it to a point where it can integrate more because that would be an amazing thing that would really corner the market since the main issue with AI is that none of the AI writers are like SEO perfect yet. So yeah, thwarted my attempts a little bit to show you everything about it, um, but I'm going to run a quick meta and listicle for y'all so you can see them. I'm just taking out the keywords so you guys can just see how it runs. And definitely you get 120 characters, so the more you can add, the more detail, the better it'll be. So here you can see it's created what are kind of titles, <laughs> but like realistically, it doesn't matter that much as long as it would include the keywords. That's I probably should have added that back in. Um, and let's do create list. Like I'm being lazy with my entries right now for it, so definitely give it more information and you'll get more out of it. That's kind of the way all AI works. So here you go, you got like a list of things to do in Rome um, that feels more like a list. It feels a bit more like the, uh, almost like the headings we got above. Again, I think it's kind of because this is a listicle post. Um, so yeah, I just don't really understand why they divide it that way, but they do and it's not for us to question, I guess. Um, but yeah, you can see that like you could get a whole blog post done in probably like the 2000 credits. You could probably use up like 1500 doing this um, to create something good that you would still 120% need to edit. Um, it's going to be a lot more editing than something like Jasper or even ChatGPT once you've trained ChatGPT the right way. So yeah, it's just really cool that this exists. It's definitely better than the Canva one. Um, and it's something that like most of us have, have a key search account. So even if you've been like struggling with chat GPT, you can't afford other ones, this gives you a nice little intro into AI. And I hope it convinces some people who are like super anti AI <laughs> to like stop being afraid of it. Um, and yeah, like learn more about it. I don't think, this is the greatest example of what it can do, but I do think this is a cool example, a cool thing that they're offering, and it's really, really, really smart of Key Search to, yeah, keep up to date on this stuff and offer AI with their services, because I don't know any other um, keyword research tool doing that right now that didn't already have that built into its base, like with uh, Rank IQ and Surfer, and even then they don't like have an AI writer like this. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this. If you want to learn more about AI writing, um, I really recommend my Jasper AI course for bloggers, which I'll link below, that goes into how to do absolutely everything with Jasper. <laughs> so from writing an ebook in an afternoon to writing 100,000 words of blog content in a week that ranks and will make you money, to writing quizzes that will grow your email list, uh, to basically everything, um, even how to ethically freelance with Jasper um, with clients. So if you're interested in that, I will include um, the link to it in the notes. I'm also going to include a free Jasper commands ebook that is full of all of my favorite Jasper commands, because really an AI writer is only as strong as the information you provide it with. So I hope you have a great day.